the desire to have children is a God-given desire. And none of us should feel ashamed of the fact that you want to have children. It is something that God put within us. We have the desire to procreate. In fact, the word of God says that we should multiply. And when God made us, he made us with that instinct to multiply, to produce, and to have children. But not everybody is born with the ability. And so you can imagine you have the desire, but you don't have the ability. And that in itself brings around a lot of frustration. And many people, when they find that they don't have the ability yet, they have the desire, they resolve to some very, very destructive things. Some of them kill themselves. It's not right. Some of them end marriages. And it's very hurtful. Yet in the day we live in, a lot has been done around ability. There is science behind it. There is what can be done with our bodies for us to be able to come to a place where some of these physical conditions or bodily um, things that it could be hormonal, it could be physical, it could be mental, anything that we are going through, there are interventions that are in place that can begin to help you. Even, to just, even if they will not give you the solution you are seeking for, they can interrogate and begin to give you some light, some hope, and at least some direction. And so beyond the desire to have children, there is the ability to do it. And if the ability is not there, you can begin to interrogate on solutions. And I know we have organizations that are very well versed to handle this. And they can begin to help you to do it, you know. And so um, I, am, I am a leader. I counsel many people. I have sat with countless couples. Some of them have not had children. Uh, some of them got children after 10 years. Some got children after 15 years. Some of it was on the platform of being prayed for and eventually God gave them the children. Some of them went into medical uh, platforms where something was uh, intervened and they got children. And some of them have never gotten their own uh, physical biological children yet. But some have adopted children and some of them are the happiest people I know. So what I can say about this is that this is not a journey you should take alone. And this is not an impossible journey. This is a journey you should not hide. This is not, you sh should not put this under taboo. This is something that you can bring out into the open. Let people begin to talk about it. Let it be a conversation. And in the midst of hard conversations, we will have answers. We will have solutions. We will have uh, ways of intervening in some of these scenarios. And I can say without the shadow of a doubt, your life will definitely get better. Thank you.